Superintendent Chalmers. Welcome, welcome. Come in, come in. He opens the door. Principal Skinner, a pleasure. I wasn't expecting this invitation. Yeah. Wow. I'm so glad you could make it, Chalmers. I've been looking forward to this all week. Come on in. I smell something tantalizing. What's cooking? The secret is in the slow cooking. It certainly does smell delicious. Yes, yes. And a nice glass of Merlot would go perfectly with it. May I offer you one, Chalmers? I'd love that, Seymour. So, um, how has your day been, Chalmers? I know has your day been, Chalmers. Some it's been quite productive, Seymour. I've managed to wrangle a few more resources for the school. Yes, yes, very good, Chalmers. Very good. <laughs> Your enthusiasm is contagious, Seymour. Now... <sighs> what was I cooking again? Petrification? No, that's not it. Skinner's. Skinner's stinky surprise. No, wait. Here it comes. In a higher-pitched voice, alarm beeping, a burnt smell. My, my, I seem to have made a little mistake this time. Principal Skinner, is everything all right? I'm afraid not, Chalmers. I, I've ruined the Stafford shirt. Well, it happens. Why don't we give it a try with this bowl of peas I brought instead? You're a lifesaver, Chalmers. Thank you. And we'll just call this, um, a little experiment. Seymour Skinner sits at the kitchen table, looking at the burnt Staffordshire with a pained expression. He buries his face in his hands and lets out a string of curses. What am I going to do now? Skinner scratches his head and paces around the table, deep in thought. I could serve Chalmers that burnt. <laughs> no, that's not it. Maybe I could try something more. Adventurous? Skinner snaps his fingers, and a vision of baking a cake lights up in his mind. Yes, I'll make a cake. That's it. Chalmers will love a nice, moist, decadent. Ah, uh, you may remember how to make a cake. I guess it can't be much different from Staffordshire, can it? He snaps out of his daydream, clearly unsure. He sits back down and sighs heavily. Alas, this seems to be another instance of my ever-failing culinary ability. I'd better come up with a backup plan. Perhaps a simple bowl of peas will suffice. Skinner slumps in his seat, defeated as he heads for the refrigerator to retrieve the bowl of peas. I'll never understand why the oven settings are always hiding from me. I really need to start writing them down, I suppose. Now, what was I cooking again? Petrification. No, that's not it. Skinner's. Skinner's stinky surprise. No, wait. Here it comes. Oh, for the love of... We'll just call this another experiment, shall we? Just peas it is, then. This burnt Staffordshire disaster. I can't serve this to Chalmers. Wait, what's that shop outside? The one that sells Cazuelas? Yes, I'll bet that would make a perfect substitute. I must have that, no matter what. Now, how to get it? 
I'll just climb out the window. No one will notice. Seymour Skinner paces around the kitchen, deep in thought. Who needs a blasted oven when I've Cazuela? I'll whip up a delicious meal that'll make Chalmers forget all about my burnt Staffordshire. This is going to be a piece of cake. Or should I say a piece of Cazuela, laughs to himself. Seymour Skinner goes outside, climbs onto the roof, and then into the shop to buy the Cazuela. I did it! It's all mine! Now, how to prepare this? Wait, have I cooked with Cazuela before? I'm sure I can figure it out. But first, I must remember to be more careful than with that blasted Staffordshire. You, that disgusting Skinner's stinky surprise. I can't believe I put Chalmers through that. I'm such a failure in the kitchen. Well, now we'll make do with Cazuela. Let's see what we can come up with here. But first, a nice glass of Merlot would go perfectly with it, don't you think? Cheers to a new dish. Seymour Skinner sits down, looks at the Cazuela with a determined expression. Let's see. <sighs> what was it that? Principal Skinner's grandmother used to say about preparing Cazuela. Ah, ah, ah. Let's give this a try. As the scene continues, Skinner goes on a long tirade about the steps to prepare the Cazuela, cursing and expressing his frustration when he encounters a roadblock. He ultimately gets it ready with a sense of pride and triumph. There, that wasn't too difficult, now was it? And I didn't even need the oven. Oh, is a new chapter for Skinner's cooking adventures. Welcome, Chalmers. I'm so glad you could make it. Then I've got something special cooking up for you. I mean, steaming up, actually. I mean, yes, that's the smell of success. Chalmers notices the smoke. Principal Skinner, do you see that smoke? Yes, yes, I do see that. But it's just steam, Chalmers. Steam from the, um, steamer. Chalmers raises an eyebrow. <laughs> As well, I've been trying to expand my culinary horizons, like, or... Steam horizons, maybe. What was that again, Chalmer? You're trying to make something different in the kitchen, Principal Skinner. Yes, yes, precisely. And you won't believe what I've made this time. Well, mm, but I've had a bit of a mishap. Chalmers looks concerned. I'm afraid I may have, um, misjudged the, um, time. <laughs> Skinner's stinky surprise again. Skinner, I know how hard you work to make these meals for us. It's all right. We'll find a solution. Thank you, Chalmers. But what could we serve instead? Peas. Yes, I have some lovely fresh peas here. What do you say? I'd be happy to join you for a bowl of peas, Principal Skinner. Here's to new dishes and successful kitchen adventures. I mean, I've cooked something up for you. Or, um, prepared it, I should say. Principal Skinner, is this the Staffordshire you promised me? Yes, yes it is. Well, um, perhaps a more regional dialect for it. Principal Skinner, I don't believe you. I was promised Staffordshire and this is something completely different. Well, um, perhaps there's been a misunderstanding. It's all in the name, really. This dish is known as Staffordshire in some regions. Principal Skinner, I don't think that's true. I know what Staffordshire is, and this isn't it. What is this? 
Long pause as Skinner seems to try and remember. I'm sorry, Chalmers. Uh, I don't quite remember why I set the oven to. My apologies for the mistake. This, um, is what I call my, um, Skinner's stinky surprise. But I do have a bowl of peas we could enjoy instead. Principal Skinner, it's all right. I appreciate your effort to cook for us. We'll enjoy the peas together. How about we try again with the Staffordshire another time? Yes, of course. I'll make sure to get it right next time, Chalmers. Thank you for your support. I seem to be having a bit of a memory lapse today. It's a small thing, really. We'll get through it together. After all, cooking and companionship are what truly matter. Pauses then, seated as they eat the peas together. Wow, what's that smell, Chalmers? It's almost like the scent of success. Oh, that... No, no, don't worry. It's just an... Asteroid storm. Asteroid storm in the kitchen. How is that even possible, Skinner? Well, it's a rare phenomenon, you know. Some asteroids emit a strong odor when they hit the Earth. Principal Skinner, asteroids don't emit a smell. It's smoke coming from your kitchen. Smoke from asteroids? I'm sure they do, Chalmers. It's just that not many people have noticed before. Here, maybe I got a little carried away in the oven. Just ran a little too hot. Skinner, it's all right. Let's have a look. I don't think that's a great idea, Chalmer. The dishes aren't quite ready yet. Trust me, Skinner. I'll help you put it out. Uh, I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. That is, unless it's Skinner's stinky surprise. Oh dear, I seem to have made a mistake yet again. I really must write down the oven settings, Chalmers. But how about we try a nice simple bowl of peas instead? Shh. So that sounds delightful. Here's to new dishes and successful kitchen adventures. Both share a laugh and go to prepare peas. Now, where did I put that bowl again? Uh, well... Well, I know where it'll be. Chalmers, don't you worry. I seem to have had quite a few lapses in memory lately. We'll get through it together. Perhaps I should write things down more often. Where did I put that bowl of peas? Or was it carrots? I'm absolutely certain we have some of those, Chalmers. Don't you agree? Both Sarah laugh as they continue preparing their makeshift dinner. The scene ends with a sense of positivity and determination from Skinner. I'm glad you enjoyed the meal, Chalmers. Hey, the Staffordshire turned out just right, didn't it? Yes, it did, Principal Skinner. The aroma was simply tantalizing. I cannot help but notice the strange odor coming from your house. Yo, that. Don't worry, Chalmers. It's just an asteroid storm. Or rather, a stray asteroid passed by and set off your smoke detectors. Or perhaps it was your neighbor's barbecue. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention it, though, as it might scare the students. Principal Skinner, you know I'm here to help. I'm just concerned about the smoke. I understand, Chalmers. But there truly is no need for alarm. Speaking of concerns, have I ever told you about my fascination with petrification? You haven't? Principal Skinner! Please do tell. Yeah, it's an intriguing process. How the passage of time transforms organic matter into stone. A window into our geological past. But enough about me. It's way... Where were we again, Chalmers? We were discussing your Staffordshire meal, Principal Skinner. You believe it was delicious, despite the strange occurrence at your house. Yes, that's right. I'm glad we could share a delightful meal together. Before I forget, Chalmers, 
Would you kindly join me for a bowl of peas this afternoon? I believe we'll have a wonderful time catching up on old times. Of course, Principal Skinner. I look forward to that. I'll make sure the oven settings are written down next time. Farewell, Chalmers. I'll see you soon.